Oceans are salty, and that's a fascinating topic to dive into. The saltiness of the ocean, or salinity, is primarily due to the weathering of rocks on land. When it rains, water seeps into the ground, breaking down minerals and carrying them into rivers. These rivers eventually flow into the ocean, bringing along dissolved salts like sodium and chloride, which are the main components of table salt. But it doesn't stop there. The ocean is a massive system and it's constantly in flux. When water evaporates from the surface, it leaves the salts behind, making the remaining water even saltier. This process is especially noticeable in areas with high evaporation rates, like the Mediterranean Sea or the Red Sea. Interestingly, the salinity of the ocean isn't uniform. It varies depending on location, depth, and temperature. For instance, in places where rivers dump a lot of fresh water, like the Amazon or the Mississippi, the salinity is lower. Conversely, in areas where water evaporates quickly, like the Persian Gulf, the salinity can be much higher. Now, let's talk about the role of marine life. Organisms like plankton and fish have adapted to these salty conditions. Some even rely on the salt for their biological processes. For example, certain fish can regulate their internal salt levels to survive in the ocean's saline environment. And here's a fun fact. The ocean is not just salty because of rocks and rivers. Volcanic activity on the ocean floor also contributes to salinity. When underwater volcanoes erupt, they release minerals and gases, adding to the ocean's salt content. So why does it matter? The salinity of the ocean plays a crucial role in global climate and ocean currents. It affects density, which in turn drives the movement of water around the globe. This movement is essential for regulating temperatures and weather patterns. In essence, the saltiness of our oceans is a result of a complex interplay of geological, chemical, and biological processes. It's a reminder of how interconnected our planet is and how even something as simple as salt can have profound effects on our environment. The next time you dip your toes in the ocean, remember that you're experiencing a dynamic system shaped by millions of years of natural processes. 